Charlotte, just the person I wanted to see. When am I not? Don't flatter yourself. Your head doesn't need to get any bigger. Hey. <laughs> it's true. Did you hear about the murders? The Trinity Trindle one? Yeah, sounds rough. Hey, you're not a murderer. Clementine, I know you for most of my life. No, I am not a murderer. I'm joking, I'm joking. Just cut to the chase. You know I don't do small talks. Uh-huh. Okay, female, five foot two, brunette, brown eyes. Yeah. I know. You know the drill, Miriam. I've done this a million times. Don't worry, I got your back. Some people these days, that was horribly rude. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. The nerve of some people, though. Ah, thank you. I'm I'm Clementine. I'm Carmen. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Clementine. The pleasure is all mine. You know, it's nice to see some friendly faces these days, especially with everything going around. I'm just treating everyone with basic human rights. Well, aren't you a little ball of sunshine? But you're not too bad. Here's my number, so we can hang out. Ah, thanks. Talk to you later. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Carmen. Oh, uh, Carmen, talk to you later. And step one has just started with ease. That was easily one of the most predictable endings that I accidentally fell in love through. That was quick. It usually takes a while for them to gain some trust. Hey, Carmen, it's Clementine. Thanks for earlier. Would you like to grab a coffee at Cafe Creason sometime? Sounds great. How does tomorrow the one sound? Sounds good. And step two has now just begun. I'm gonna go to bed. Huh? A text from Clementine? Forgot to say goodnight, so goodnight, Carmen. Night, Clementine. So, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? I'm just a bit on edge with all the murders happening lately. You don't know who you can trust. Yeah, well, here you are, getting coffee with merely a stranger. Oh, shush, I'm just scared. I don't want to be next. Well, maybe the murderer doesn't have a choice. Maybe there's a story behind it. Maybe someone's threatening them to do it. I guess. I just wonder why the cops haven't found any evidence yet. Maybe the murderer is really good at getting rid of the evidence. Why do you say murderer? As far as the daily newspaper says, they don't know if there's only one murderer. Oh, I just assume that. I'm teasing you. I think there's one murderer too. Oh, it was lovely to see you. Until next time. Oh, so there's a next time. Be one, there be. On that note, my best friend Charlotte is texting me about her boy problem. Bye, Citrus. Citrus? Oh, Clementine, Citrus, they work. Bye, Carmen. <laughs> Bye, Citrus. Hmm. Oh, what about the murder scenes? I could check that out. Junior, we literally just checked that out. The murder was smart, but they left evidence. What if they were murdered? Junior, wow, very helpful. I know, right? What if they had good social skills? That's actually not a bad idea. Junior, get me the daily newspaper. <laughs> Which one? <sighs> Today's newspaper, Junior. See that? All the victims were busy and all made a close friend before they they died. I think that's what kept next the murders together. We find that person, bada bing, bada boom, we got him. Yay, you did it. Not yet, not quite, Junior. We still have a lot to go before we catch this monster. Come on, Aaron. You know I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm your friend. You know, I welcome you into my life and you accuse me of murder? I thought you trusted me. Nighty night, Aaron.
I wish we could just find whoever this murderer is. I can't look. If you can't look, yeah. then why are you looking? I swear you were born dumb. Anyways, I've concluded the body to be- Oh, Aaron McNeil. I talked to his neighbors last night and they claimed someone was calling him a close friend last night. That was what Trinity Trundle's neighbors had said. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Look, Steve, Aaron, <laughs> he has a clone. Joe! Ow! That's rude! Oh, Detective Oscar texted. He claimed that someone left this area around 3 last night. An anonymous tip. Yeah. Is that it? Did they say where the figure went? Afraid not, partner. Maybe we should go look for some clues. Wow, that's like the only bright idea you've ever had. Come on. Your deadline of three months has passed. The target is supposed to be dead by now. Step on it. Because we know your life is on the line. Fine, I'll do it to Romina. Fine, you have a week. If the target isn't dead by next week, your pretty little head will be added to my collection. Jeez, lady, I get it. You know you're such a- Stop talking, girl, I'll tell you now. You know, maybe I should send Miriam. Me too. I won't disappoint. <coughs> Unlike some people. Fine, I'll take care of the target. Please, I have a life to tend to, Carmen. So do I, I'm just doing my job, Charlie. Another murder? This is horrifying. Tell me about it. The cops need to step on it because before they know it, everyone's gonna be How dead. How do they not have any leads? Well, I wasn't gonna say anything, but maybe I should. So you remember the picture that you showed me of Carmen? I saw her leaving the exact same alley of where the body was. Are you accusing her of being the murderer? No, but yes. How can you not find that sus? I already turned the tip to the cops. You did what? Carmen would never kill anyone. I love you, Char, but you're acting insane. I'm gonna go call Carmen. Hey, Oranges. Do you kill people? Oh no, you kill people? My job is to kill people. If I fail, then I'm next. I'm the next victim if I don't do it. You should have just gone to the police. Now the police are after you. I know, I'm so, wait, what? The police are coming. Uh, Char sent an anonymous tip. I have to go. <laughs> You witch! You've had all the time in the world to kill her, and you haven't! Don't you dare touch her! Carmen! Oh god, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. It's not on my lawn! Put your hands up! Yeah, or else! Now get up! Now! Be gentle with her! No! Clementine, you can't! She's a murderer! But I... I, I love her! You love her? Awkward. Sis, I might have to stall your trial because this tea is piping hot. Really? You love me? I love you too, Clementine. I'll be waiting for you when you get out. <laughs> Popo out, mystery solved. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm such a terrible person and I absolutely ruined everything. I know, I know, it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be okay. How do I know I won't make this stupid mistake again? <laughs> I'm not an oracle, but I'll be here to support you. I love you, Clementine. But I'm a sunflower, a little funny. If I were a rose, maybe you want me. If I could, I'd change overnight. Track. This is the worst experience.
experience in my life. <laughs>